Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are going to know about the pests related to the fruit crops. In a previous video, we already have gone through with the pests related to the vegetables as well as the flowering crops. So if you wish to watch that video, then please click the link given in my description box and watch it. So now let's begin with this video and the first pest that we want to know is the hopper. The fruit crop affected by this pest is mango. In this, the young ones as well as the adults suck the sap from the leaves and inflorescence. And to control this, spray kypermethrin that is it should be in the ratio of 3 ml in 10 liters of water, phenvalate that is 5 ml in 10 liters of water and as well as we can spray phenthoate, quinolfus, dimethoate or monocryptophus alternatively for 5 times. Now the next pest is the stem borer and the fruit crops affected are the mangoes and the cashew nut. In this the caterpillars will bore into the bark and the wood. Due to this the stem will also get dried up. And to control this we need to inject dichlorovus that should be in the ratio of 5 ml in a litre of water from top most hole and seal all the other holes. Now the third pest is mealybug and the affected crops are the mango, the guava and the grapes. In this they will suck the sap from the leaves, fruits, flowers which will result them in weakening appearance. And to control this we need to spray monocryptophus. Now the next pest is the shoot borer and the affected crops are mango and cashew nut. In this they will bore through the twigs and the inflorescence and to control this spray neem extract. Now the next pest is the leaf weaver and the affected crop plants are the mango and the cashew nut. In this as the name suggested leaf weaver they will actually join the leaves and to control this collect and destroy the affected leaves. Now the next pest is the fruit borer and the affected crop are the pomegranates. What they do is they will insert in the fruit. What they do is they will insert in the fruits and bore it. And to control this collect and destroy the affected fruit as well as we, we can use the light traps. Now the next pest is shoot hole borer. And the affected crop plants are the pomegranate, the graves and the chiku. In this they will pour into the stem, roots and the branches. And to control this spray monocryptophus. By the way if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive the notification for our upcoming videos. Now let's move on to the next space that is the aphid. And the affected crop plants are the pomegranates, the grapes, the banana and the bear. In this, the number of nymphs and the adults suck the sap from the leaves and the flower. And to control this, spray dimethoate or monocryptophus. Now the next pest is the shrimps. And the affected crop plant are the mangoes, the pomegranates as well as the citrus fruits. In this they will suck the sap and scrap the surface and to control this mix methyl dimethyl at 30 ml or quinolfus uh, that should be also in the ratio of 30 ml in 10 liters of water and then we can spray it. Now the next pest is the fruit fly and the affected crops are the mangoes and the guava. In this the maggots will eat the fruit pulp 
and the fruit will rot and to control this use pheromone traps now the next pest is the bark borer and the affected crop plants are the guava the pomegranate and the sapota what they do is they would bore in the bark of the stem and to control this apply carbile at the ratio of 80 gram in 10 liters of water and spray now the next pest is the flea beetle and the crop plant affected is the grape in this what they do is they would eat the new sprouts and made hole on the leaves and to control this spray melotheon at 10 ml in 10 liters of water now the next pest is the mite and the crop plant affected are the mangoes and the grapes and this is what they do is they will suck the sap from the leaves flowers and the fruits and to control this spray sulfur at 25 gram or monocrop tuffers that is 15 ml in 10 liters of water now the next pest is the lime butterfly obviously since i have told the name lime butterfly so the crop plant affected are the citrus fruits what they do is they would actually means the caterpillars will actually bite and chew the leaves voraciously and feed on them and to control this use traps to collect the adults means the adult caterpillars now the last one or this is the last pest for today is the fruit sucking moth and the crop plant affected are the citrus fruits as well as the pomegranate what they do is the adult moth will suck the juice from the fruits and to control this use light traps by the way if you really wish to know about agriculture in detail then i recommend you to watch my previous video on the topics such as the soil the climate the plant nutrients organic manures and fertilizers the field crops the horticultural crops and many more so if you want to watch this video then please go to my channel and go to the playlist and watch these videos finally our videos come to an end and i hope you liked it if you like my video and find this video helpful then please give a thumbs up and share this video as for my next video we are actually going to a new chapter and that is the weeds. So till the next time we meet, bye bye and have a nice day.